Is there a generic, more inexpensive way to get a slingshot very similar to the Scout XT from Simple Shot? In this video, I wanna to attempt to answer that question. Stick around. I hope you're doing well, my friend, and thank you for taking time to click on this video. I also wanna thank my subscribers and welcome all the new visitors here to 411 Outdoors. Let's get started. I want to say this from the start. The slingshot we're going to be looking at today is by no means a replacement for the Scout XT. The Scout XT is clearly higher in quality. But if you're someone who's on a very tight budget and you love the design of the Scout XT, but maybe it's out of your budget right now, I believe what we're going to be looking at today is perfect for you. The brand we're going to be looking at today is ZJP Now Hunting Slingshot. And this was 11 bucks. I gotta say for what this is, I don't know if I have found anything to match it yet. So this is the package it comes in. Let's look at the contents. You've got your slingshot, which is the exact same dimensions as the Scout. It's the exact same size. You've got a set of loop tubes, some practice flat bands, and your screw on band attachments. Let's talk about some of the ways these are different. The Scout is made with like an ultra strength polycarbonate plastic and made in the USA. It also has this rubberized, texturized grip on the handle. It does weigh a little bit more than what we're gonna be looking at today. With the Scout, you also have hardware that's a lot more solid and a higher quality band attachment. It simply comes down to this. You get what you pay for. If you want the highest quality version of what we're gonna be looking at today, then by all means, Spend the 40 bucks and get you a Scout XT. It's my favorite, and it's a wonderful slingshot. But you don't have to do without if all you have is a few bucks to your name because I think we got something here that will meet your need. It's not made from the same quality plastic that the Scout XT is, but it is made with a high-density polyethylene. So I'm in the process now of putting these band attachments on. Looks pretty easy. I'm going to stick this here. They just pop in on the front there, and then you've got these screws in the back. That's really easy. I like that a whole lot. You know, when you're out in the field, you know, there's no tying on any bands. You can just <laughs> screw them on. I love that kind of stuff. I am on the team that likes attachable bands and these have some good band attachment setups. Again, not as strong a hardware as the Scout, but it's all you need. And this still has a good weight to it. It's a little over a quarter of a pound and 13 kilograms. And it still feels like a rock solid slingshot with good substance to it. Um, this one's leading the pack for me right now as far as budget slingshots. For this to be 11 bucks, I think this supersedes RCZZ SUWE, uh, supersedes some of the um, other frames that I've looked at on Amazon. 11 bucks is a steal for this. Y you think about it, you've got somebody who can't afford $40 to get a scout, but they want the exact same design and feel in the hand this is going to be very similar and about a quarter of the price you can put you some tubes or some flat bands on this i'm actually going to start off putting some tubes on it i think you just bring it up underneath here like this yeah oh yeah and then the other one we'll get the other side here i'm just going to tighten it on down here huh it's pretty neat so this is what they look like with the tubes on you just loop them through the bolts and uh, tie them down. They just kind of loop around. You got to get them good and tight though, because if you don't, they'll be slipping off the side. These tubes that these come with <laughs> are pretty stout. I got to tighten that down a little bit more to keep that from popping out. Let's see if that worked. Yeah, that holds. You might want to put some lighter tubes if we want to use it though, but that's pretty cool that you can do that. I've got these on an over-the-top setup here, but you can also do through the forks with this slingshot, so that is awesome. You just got to make sure that those tubes are clamped down really well or they'll slip over the side of the fork. When you're ready to take them off, just loosen it and bring it out from underneath the bottom like that. And we're ready to put the flat bands on now. The flat bands it comes with are really light, so they'll just be like a good practice band. But that's what we're going to put on it today, just for fun. I've got some clay rounds I'm going to shoot. Tighten this down really good. It gets a nice, it gets a nice grab. That's good. For those that are new to slingshots, I want you to see this. It just pinches in between the clamp there, just like that. And then you want to tighten it down.
get it nice and tight so it don't pop off and hit you in the mouth. That does not feel good, especially on a cold day. But you want it locked in there nice and straight, nice and tight, and give it a test pull. Just maybe give it a test pull. I hadn't trimmed these bands, but that's for a later time. Just give it a test pull, make sure it's in there nice and snug, and we're ready to shoot a couple of rounds. I think this is the lightest set of slingshot bands I've ever tested, but this is just to let us get a feel of the slingshot. And it's got that same good feel in the hand that the Scout does. Really nice slingshot. I'm not shooting that far away. We're just knocking around here a little bit. You really can't ask for more than this for 11 bucks. Something with the same look and feel as a Scout. Uh, easy to maintain hardware, easy band attachment, shoots well, feels good. Just an all around awesome slingshot. Probably the best budget slingshot on the market right now if you're a fan of the Scout. But if you can, get you a Scout. This is still a good one to have, especially if you can't afford the Scout right now. So I hope you enjoyed this review and found it helpful. Take care.